But my question is to the ladies. Because when I ask women about relationships, the things they talk about the most is, well, what if he cheats on me? See, women only talk about, women fear men that are good in bed cheating on them. Say, so Prince, so understand, so let's say I'm talking to, uh, I'm talking to attorney. I don't know what I'm gonna call her. We're gonna call her Molly for right now. So let's say Molly. Molly could care less about how every other man, every other man, um, she could care less what he does. But when Molly get that good, good, then Molly is all of a sudden worried about you cheating on her. Okay? The question is, how many women marry men? It's amazing. The more money and more education and the more a woman has, the more she picks a man. Based, the more women pick men like they think men pick women. So, ladies, how important is sex? How important is sex in choosing a mate? Um, and I know many women who have openly admitted they left a, a, a stable, successful, healthy, functional relationship solely based upon sex. My thing is, okay, cool. So if you get good sex, So if you get good sex, um, is that important? Is that more important than anything else? Is that more important than anything else? Because if you get what you want, I I'm just I'm really trying to ask a question. Is it more important than anything else? Go live and his moderator pin in the comment. Uh, I'll tell you right now. Um, so I want to talk to women who are single. I want to talk to women who are single and women who are out here actively looking for a long-term relationship. And I want to know where sex ranks for you in the top, where it is in a priority list. I think it's a fair question. And then all I'm going to ask, ladies, is where it ranks and if it's sex a deal breaker. Meaning, let me define something. Add a man for once. Uh, no. Goodbye. Don't tell me what to do with my show. If you only orgasmed one out of 10 times, no, no, even worse. If you orgasm one out of 20 times, one out of 20, one out of 20, Maybe that's a little maybe that's a little too extreme. Maybe 10%. Because 30% of women report having orgasms during so and I and but the thing is, I believe that women should be in charge. I believe as a woman, you're in charge of your orgasm. It is your responsibility to come as a woman. It is my responsibility to be able to stroke. But it is your orgasm is your responsibility. Many women have been taught that a man, it is a man's responsibility to make her come. No, you are responsible for your own orgasm. Meaning, you need to know how your orgasm functions, the three levels of, three kind of orgasm, actually four. Uh, we're gonna get into all this of me and Shane, but the thing is, I think, a, I think a partnership should not be a selfish partner, but especially in our community, women have been told that men exist solely for your benefit. And in other communities, men have been told that women exist solely to just get off on. Uh, I don't, I'm wrong here, motherfucker. Oh, I'm wrong? Come on, tell me how I'm wrong. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, as a woman, tell me how I'm wrong that a woman is responsible for her own orgasm. I'm, I'm assuming I'm talking to grownups. Come on, tell me how I'm wrong. See, this woman said I'm wrong, and this is why women like her, no, see, she didn't want to go live. Women who want men to be responsible for their own orgasm are women who want to continually blame men for their frustrations. No, no, sweetheart. You know where your clitoris is. You know where your G-spot is. 
You know which one of your nipples is more sensitive. You know how you like what you like when you like. And you should know how to get yourself off. You know how to do it when we ain't around. When we're not around, you know how to get that bullet, that rabbit, that pillow, that shower head. Y'all know how to come on your own. So I am taking the responsibility off of men to get you off. Gentlemen, it is not your responsibility to make sure she comes every time. It's her responsibility to make sure she comes every time. It is not your responsibility to be screwing for 30 minutes because she takes too long to come. It is her responsibility to get her mind right, to get in, to be focused on the sex right now because far too many of you women like this, all in your phone and this and that. You need to be tuned in. If you like dirty talk or whatever, a man needs to understand what you like, but if your orgasm is your responsibility. It's our responsibility not to come too quick. But to come too quick doesn't mean that somebody got to be going for 20 and 30 and 40 minutes. No, you get every bit of 10 minutes. Bernie Mac, shout out to the late great Bernie Mac. 50 pumps, count them if you ain't got no better. And I'm going to tell you something. The first time I had sex with a woman who was actually responsible for her own orgasm, it was like a weight was lifted off my shoulder. You know why? Because she was damn near coming as I was about to enter into her. I'm like, whoa, what just happened? And she was enjoying herself. And then I actually dealt with somebody who was very repressed. I'm going to tell you something. She was very repressed. And we hooked up several years later. Oh, she, she learned a whole bunch of new tricks. Remember the movie Dead Presidents? When Lorenz Tate uh, was with his, baby, with his baby mama, they hooked up and he went to Vietnam. He came back. And he had a baby, and then uh, Chauncey, remember Chauncey? Chauncey had been with his lady, and he's like, she wasn't doing it like that when you left. Uh, dude, either you Chauncey or you Lorenz Tate. You're not going to be both. I've been Chauncey to women, and I've been Lorenz Tate to women. But I'm telling you, gentlemen, especially as your success goes up, your responsibility in the bed goes down, how most men think. We got other shit to be worried about. This does not mean men can be selfish lovers. But ladies, you are insane if you think a man 35, 40 years old is going to be trying to fuck for two, three hours. <laughs> you crazy? Cut it. Cut it. Thank you. So, ladies, you may not look at all the men in here talking about, thank God somebody said it. Gentlemen, take that weight off your shoulders, especially black men. Put up your porn star card. You don't have to be a fucking sexual pro. You don't have to be big, dangler, breaking backs and uh, blowing out backs and breaking spines. No, tell a woman your dick is this big and you don't last that long. But tell her uh, the rent will be paid, the lights will be on, and we will live a above average life. You want that or do you want that? You don't get both. You want big dangling? Go over there and uh, get get the Subway sandwich. Get the, get the four for four at Wendy's. <laughs> now I'm saying all this not to because i also want to shout out to abl i also want to say this to my to my fellas who are good in bed good you're good in bed that should be an added bonus that should be an added bonus to women if you find a man that is good in bed and a provider you hit the jackpot but how do you treat that man but this is getting into it i want to hear from you ladies i'm telling you what i think i'm also channeling what i hear from plenty of men Plenty of men. So I want to hear what women think men's responsibility is in the bedroom, especially towards your orgasm. Is it our responsibility to make sure you have a good time or is it your responsibility? And if you and how high do you rank sexual satisfaction when it comes to picking a long-term mate? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. One at a time on this one. Okay, and why the hell did you click the request to join? Why did I click the request to join and then y'all don't show up? Oh, no, this chick already came up one day. No, if you could, if you sound like a bunch of us. Look at this. Uh, understand something. I, I, Kevin, is it okay if I if I don't go on camera because my eyes are puffy from crying from the loss of my brother yesterday? But I'm willing to talk. I'm willing to speak. But I'm so puffed, Daddy, right now. Uh, I actually I can't do that. I'm sorry. Cool. I can't.
can't do that. If I break the roof, you're going to break the roof for everybody. Um, because I'm not going to be able to stand by that. I'm sorry for your loss, man. Um, see, and I want you to understand how many, how, how, look at the shame language so many women are using. Now, I'm going to tell you, this culturally breaks down much different. Let me tell you, uh, get around some Asian women. Get around some Hispanic women. Get around some other races of women. And I'm going to tell you, they have a much different view on sex. But I'm going to tell you, for, for black women, oh, oh I have, it has been my experience. It has been my personal experience that black women place an inordinate uh, priority on a man's sexual prowess. And 